Here I am making Mexican street corn. What I did was um, I purchased this corn from the market and I am just washing it in the sink. Um, getting all those silk um, pieces off of there so um, when I cook them they won't be all in the pot or in the serving dish. Um, so just washing that really well. I'm also breaking those in half. Um, they're a little bit larger than what I wanted so take them to a party and I just I want to be a little bit smaller and have some that's falling down in the sink. So I'm going to put a little um, strainer in there so that I'm going to go and I'm trying to wash those um, before I move to my next step. Um, my next step, which is I'm going to boil, I'm putting all the corn into a big stock pot and filling it up just enough water to cover the top of the corn one can of evaporated milk and two sticks of butter the milk will help um tenderize the corn one pack of sazon season and um some carne asada season you can really use any season you want but i try to stick within the mexican um season family for this and then i added some um elote if you pronounce it, it has some cumin and some cheese and some other spices in there um, to complement the Mexican flavor of the corn. Mix that up a little bit and bring that to a boil. I boil that for maybe 20 to 30 minutes on high just to try and tenderize that corn as much as I could before I moved it to the oven. Um, once the corn um, was done, um, I actually put it inside of the oven on broil for about um, 10 minutes. Um, before I did that, I sprayed it with some um, olive oil spray. So I'm just, here, I'm just putting it in the pan, and I'm going to go ahead and spray that before I put it in the oven on broil for about um, 15, maybe 10, 15 minutes. Um, while that's in the oven, I use some of that stock and put it in a saucepan, and I crumbled some of feta cheese in there. You can use plain feta cheese if you want, or you can use uh, Mexican cheese. I can't remember the name of that. But um, I just used feta because that's what I had, some tomato basil feta, a little bit more flavor. Um, I didn't use that much stock because I want it to be um, like a thicker cream so I can brush on the corn once it came out of the oven. So to that mixture, I put a little bit more seasoning in there and I added some um, parsley and I also added some cilantro. I did add some Mexican cream as well, that's what that is right there. Um, the store purchase, some people use mayo or sour cream. Um, that's the cilantro that I'm putting now. It's out of the oven and I am just brushing that mixture on top of the corn and it smells so good and I actually had a piece right then I think, but um, I'm spreading it on there and I'm gonna put it back in the oven on broil for about um, five minutes um, before I did that I just sprayed it again and I popped it back in the oven so all that flavor and that cheese can kind of melt down in the corn and um, I may have had two pieces I'm not sure but um, this is what it looks like once I took it out of the oven you can see it has a little char on there um, once I did that I put it in a serving dish and I just squirted some of that Mexican cream on top I also crumbled some of the feta on top. I sprinkled some tagine, tagine <laughs> on top and some more parsley. And this is the finished look. Um, it is absolutely delicious. Very quick um, side dish um, for any party. You can get corn and break it in half. It goes a long way. Um, tastes really well for taco bars, all of that. So give this a try let me know if you try it um thank you for watching and thank you i love this corn <laughs>